I was going to start this video being somewhat annoyed at Asprite for not being completely free and open source, but that changed after I read his blog post. That's right. I'm a firm believer in if you write your code, it is your choice to pick a license. I'm a big believer in free software, and that's why I began this channel. I wanted a way to hopefully bring users to my code and provide a viable source of income from the code that I may make in the future. We've seen how software can be used as a commercial thing, but to me, software is more of a medium to present your best self and to do a great deal of good in the world. Anyone that has an internet connection can make software. You don't need much more, and you can even code with less. You can even write algorithms in your head. Now, the point I'm trying to make is that the reason I'm choosing graphics too is because to me, it feels like a, the code is more minimal and won't fall to feature creep. I think the developer of A-Sprite should get all the money he deserves, and he certainly deserves a great deal. It's just that graphics too is written and planned in the style that I like. The way to get A-Sprite for free is to install it from source and not really from a package manager. This is because A-Sprite is not free to distribute. Because of this, the software is not available to less popular distributions like OpenBSD out of the box, but graphics too is. The installation instructions will need to be adapted for that specific operating system. Graphics too also has a certain je ne sais quoi about it. Both software do have Lua scripting capabilities. When I originally wanted to use Graphics 2 over Asprite, I believe I was seeing some issues with Asprite. I believe I came across a bug where copying from the clipboard would not just work. I had to compile from source, but my build tools for it was buggy. I even had a problem where when I opened up Mathematica, Asprite would open. These are completely unrelated software, only linked by having the same build tools, and I heard that the build tools were buggy. This was a few years ago now, and things may have changed. When I used Asprite, it was actually quite fun. Graphics 2 seems less beginner friendly, but slightly better for advanced users. I saw Dornbringer's tools for Graphics 2, and that made me very excited. Hopefully soon, I could start my own scripts. I was worried that my biggest reason was that it seemed cooler, as it was the path less traveled. There is a saying found in OpenBSD's Fortune command. People do things for a good reason, and the real reason. And I'm worried that my reason is because it's unique and different and therefore makes me seem unique and different. Creative artists often make subjective decisions like this and I guess my personal relationship to the software is super important. Here are the benefits and drawbacks of Asprite compared to Graphics 2. In Asprite you use a lasso tool which is more powerful than Graphics 2 as you can force the brush to paint only in the selection. Just lassoing on Graphics 2 doesn't work so I need to see if there is something I am not doing yet. A sprite allows you to make layers as well as animation. The reason this hasn't yet been implemented in Graphics 2 is that it would make the UI unintuitive and most users have probably learned to live with it. Hence Graphics 2 is slightly less beginner friendly. Graphics 2 was made in 1996 originally by a team. A sprite was made in 2001 originally by a solo developer. Graphics 2 is also inspired by software like Deluxe Paint so it has a basis for how to do things and what works and what doesn't. However, it's hard to argue whether a solo team or a team dev is better. I usually prefer a small group of developers or just one. Graphics 2, however, does have that little bit more of a code maturity. Graphics 2 is mostly C with a little bit of C++. I want to learn C, but not C++. In the future, if I'm good enough, I could propose features for Graphics 2. A Sprite is mostly C++, which is fine, but not my desired need. Graphics 2 is 9.7 megabytes. A sprite is 14 megabytes. Graphics 2 has around 3,000 comments, while A sprite has around 9,000. While this is quite subjective, as a com commit can mean more lines of code or less lines of code, but having three times as many commits is probably something. I'm using these metrics to determine how minimalist the software is. Graphics 2 has less bugs filled on its bug track. Now, this might not mean that it has less bugs in general as A Sprite is a lot more popular than Graphics 2, but it is something. While A Sprite is hosted on GitHub, which I prefer, Graphics 2 has a harder method of adding changes and therefore has less than 100 tickets open with 24 bug issues filled. A Sprite has 446 bug issues. A Sprite has a more active community and therefore it's likely to be a lot easier to get problems solved. But at the same time, the resources for Graphics 2 are not bloated. I do think in the future, I would like to have definitive answers from the Graphics 2 manual. As Eskil Steenberg said, in the beginning you just want results, in the end you just want control. However, personally I think a more active community is more important, so 
a sprite wins this point. To conclude, I think Graphics 2 is a fine and amazing software, as well as a sprite. They are both very great software and we're quite spoiled for choice, and we're quite lucky that we have these different softwares to choose from. Like I said, the most of my decision was a Genesequa, but going into things, I realised that it, Graphics 2 is a bit more in tune with my personal values in terms of what programming language I think things should be built on, how big the code should be, and so on. How well it should be ported and how portable it should be. So Graphics 2 is my art software of choice. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thank you so much to my six subscribers. Do check out this video about why I think ego is really important to think about when you're programming and how it can be quite detrimental to your program. If you think this content was worth a like and subscribe, please do as that's what makes this channel a viable business. Comments help the channel out a great deal too. Do you agree with my points? Do you have a preference? Did this video help you decide between the two? If you are feeling especially kind, please do donate via any method in the link below. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.